Once again, we're in the darkness because I don't know. There was not enough light today in this room. Um, this video is going to be quick. I did an interview with an old friend of mine. I don't agree with some of the questions he asked me, but you know me. I smiled and went through it. I did the video, so 30-minute um, interview. Yeah, it was all right. So um, here's the deal. Now that I'm back, and today is Cinco de Mayo, I got to work from, what is it, about 8 o'clock right now. I figure I'll get to the restaurant, that's around 8.30, 9 o'clock, and I'll probably be there till close to midnight tonight. It's Cinco de Mayo party time for, you know, our Hispanic brothers and sisters out there. This is actually not a day for protests. This is a day that they normally celebrate their victory over the French. Whatever. So, what I want the people of the real AIX to do, maybe one day this week, I want you to go to every one of your favorite channels on YouTube. And when you find someone that you like, that you, you know, believe is super positive or their videos are great, instead of watching their videos, I want you to go through and read their comments on the videos and for every negative comment I want you just to write the name down what I'm gonna do and what I propose to do and uh, me and uh, a few other people have already put things in place I'm going to put together a channel and it's gonna be wide open this channel is a channel that you can use to shut these motherfuckers down um, that way you don't have to put the bullshit on your channel. We shouldn't have to constantly, you know, give them a face or give them a block or shut them down. Or we shouldn't have to constantly worry about these one-liner motherfuckers. You know what I mean by one-liner is they write one faulty line on the bottom of your shit. Then you go to their webpage or their channel, whatever you want to call it, and there's no pictures, no nothing. There's a couple of people out there who do have balls enough to have a camera but they will type some faulty shit in the bottom of your page and that itself is a uh, it's cowardice it's like you know you got a camera you can talk shit about this and talk shit about that but when you write faulty shit nigger this nigger that bitch this white that when you write that shit on the bottom of the fucking screen that's cowardly especially when you go to a person's channel so what I want to do because I'm going to go to all the people that I like their videos and I like their style and I like their attitudes. All my family, I'm going to go through every one of their videos and read. That's something that I never did that much of growing up. I don't know. I don't read that much. And I like when people tell me that I have a limited vocabulary and I'm stupid. This is what the state of California taught me. This is, this is the... Uh, level of education that our money our forefathers money and, and every bit of penny of piece of shit whatever they fucking put in our school district now this is what this is what came out in 1969 this is what came out this is what this is how they they taught me this is how they captivated the mind of a young person to keep him interested in learning you know I could tell you some stories about some of the shit I went through in school growing up but please that is then and this is now um, we only live once if we live twice I'd be like you know what <laughs> can, can I get my second turn now because this one's done but um like I said we're gonna read we're gonna write down all the names of these idiots who do shit to us and then, just like in a regular news report, once you got your list, I want you to just comment. Just like, you know, on Friday, da 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 da, such and such had the audacity to call such and such a stupid nigger. The points that such and such was trying to make had nothing to do with race or this and that and this and that. It felt as if that this person decided just to call him a stupid nigger. You know, shit like that. Um, it's five minutes left on this video. I'm going to my page on my other computer right here. And I'm just going to click on just say uh, 
It's just a child fucking with you. Let's see. Let's see what happens if there's any fucked up statements at the bottom of this one. No. Because the only person on this page that's commenting on this video is is the man, the one and only Father Judgment. Um, you know. So let me go back up and look at another video. Because I shared. A few minutes ago, I had a whole bunch of them calling me all kind of niggas and shit. Let me see. The video I did called Surprise. Okay. I have 104 videos, so I know that there's one on this other one. It's weird. I did a, a video reply to Barack Obama. It's got 500 hits almost. I did a video reply to Hillary Clinton. It's got 38 hits. I did a video reply to Senator John McCain. It's got 28 hits. Now, if somebody comments on your candidate and, you know, they're saying some positive shit or asking your candidate a question, you see how unimportant it is to the McCain viewers and the Clinton viewers, but the Barack Obama viewers are looking at that shit, they're taking out shit, and they're giving it to Barack. That's where he is killing these people. He's getting them because he's paying attention to the people who question him and, and ask questions of him. Okay, that was that. Let me see. One more. I, don't, I, want, I want to give you an example. But now I can't find one. Black women need to shut up. I think there's one on here where the guy calls us. This nigger looks like he's 40 year old. A 40 year old bum and shit. Now that's Misery, uh, Missy, shit. Misery City, Texas. Five hours ago. This nigga looks like a 40 year old bum and shit. As a black man myself, da 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 da. I don't like when people tell Willie Pete to shut up and people shut up. Just say, you know, I don't agree with this person, I don't agree with that person. You don't tell people shut up. Don't worry, when the alleged race war begins, uh, they will be prisoners of war. And that is a. Uh, Four, five, six, seven, pod. Now, what what did I say to Willie Pete in this video? Is he said people had to shut up. Now he's talking about don't worry. When the alleged race war begins, they will be prisoners of war on a spaceship. To be honest, black women can bitch. Da 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 da. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it's this holla. I mean, it's like don't diss me. Just because I say my wife uh, bailed me out and took care of me, I don't mean I'm a bum. Come on, please. A bum don't go to work, and a bum don't give up the pay. I give up my little change because I know my wife takes care of me. You think I fucking need anything? But, hey, you calling me all kind of bums and shit and yada, yada, yada. A bum don't go to work. A bum don't spend 12 hours a day at work to bring home the money to make sure he can still have a place to live. A bum don't do that. Because if I want to be pissy and sleeping on the goddamn streets, I don't even have to do that. Hmm, please. If I want to be a bum, all I do is go buy the alcohol and somebody will take care of me. Unlike a lot of motherfuckers in this place, a lot of motherfuckers in this world who can't do nothing. I can. I am worth something. People will not allow me to go down. I'm sorry. But like I said, there's comments like this that, that put a damper on people's fucking day. You know, I'm being positive in, in the black woman video. And motherfuckers is talking about, you know, I'm a bum. Bum ain't got shit to say. So, you know, let's write these motherfuckers' names down. And get their ass a motherfucking roll call. And clown them. And let people know, you know what, this is this and that person, this and this and that person. Shut them down. You know, you can flag them, I guess, or, or block them. Blocking somebody do what? They just gonna open up another faulty fucking name and call you a nigger or a dumb this or dumb that again. So it don't matter. So what I'm trying to say is, we're gonna write these motherfuckers' name down. We're gonna get these motherfuckers a roll call. Matter of fact, we're gonna call it roll call, I guess. I don't know. So... That's how we get that ass done. We're going to shut these motherfuckers down like only we can do it. Because when everybody knows your name, to go with your no face having ass, well, you know what that means. That means you're going to have a whole bunch of angry motherfuckers like Blood Advocate shutting you down, tubing you. Because Blood Advocate will not only tube you, 
He will tube you in a way that you don't want to be tubed.